Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Tuesday afternoon. I have been home for 45 minutes, had a couple little breaks in there, but let me show you what I've accomplished in 45 minutes. Check it out. I got 10 blanks glued up. The first couple are definitely ready to come out of clamps, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them out of clamps. I've got two more blanks there, and then I'll start loading these up and getting them ready to go. So this is going super fast. I can't believe how quickly I can put these things together uh, when, I'm, when I'm set up and ready to go. And using these longer bolts, doing two at a time is like so nice. But I'm gonna get back to work because my goal is to have all of those done tonight. And maybe, just maybe, we'll start on some chaos. I pulled these out of the clamps a few minutes ago. I went ahead and finished up the final one. These two are ready to come out of the clamps. This one's not too far from it. And I went ahead and staged the rest of my blanks. So we're gonna go ahead and get those out of clamps. By the time we get one or two of the, uh, the uh, clamps set up with blanks, we'll be ready to take that one out and we should be able to finish all of these in a very short period of time. Here they are, every one of them done. Look at that, they look amazing. The glue has tacked up really well on them. There are a couple of them that might still have like a little bead of glue on the outside that needs to finish curing. But by tomorrow night, they'll be 100%. I think they look amazing. I am really, really happy with how these turned out. I've got the original three right over here. Uh, we'll start out turning those here. Um, I'm not exactly sure when, because I'm getting ready to start some chaos blanks, but I can't wait to turn some of these. These are two, a little over two and a quarter inches in length. So any pin kit with a two and a quarter inch or less length barrel, these will work for. The holes are quarter inch, so you can drill up to seven millimeter, 10 millimeter, 30, 27, 64, so whatever size you need, you drill them right out and they'll make any size pin kit as long as the barrel is two and a quarter or less. I, I cannot believe how they turned out way better than I ever expected. Now it's time for just a little bit of cleanup. You can see I've got a majority of it cleaned off, but I have a little bit more stuff to put away. And then we'll start hitting the uh, barrel or the bucket and the uh, boxes over there, uh, cutting some pieces down or some parts down to get ready for a major chaos glue up. Uh, hoping to do a big one this time. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how many, I have no idea how many blanks I'll put into it, but uh, I hope it's going to be quite a few because uh, I'm looking forward to it. So I need to get all of my blanks out here that I've made recently and show them. I think I've been, I've been talking to someone about uh, being a distributor for these blanks so that I'd have some way to sell them because the thing that I didn't want to mess with is, you know, here's the thing. I could take these blanks and whatever I sell them for, and I'm going to make up a price. Let's say that I sell them for $50 a blank and I'm making that up. That's not what they'll sell for. He may offer me $40 a blank for them. And you may say, wow, well, you know, you can make a lot more selling them yourself. And yes, I could, but here's what has to happen. I have to now photograph them individually, all four sides. I have to upload the photographs. I have to write a description of the blanks. I have to post them online. I have to answer questions, send out invoices, receive payment, box up that blank, label it, uh, uh, with the person's address, go to stamps.com, put a stamp on it, and drop it in the mailbox. That's a lot of steps there where I could take and sell the whole batch to one guy for one check for a little bit less money, and my time is free to make more blanks. So I got to kind of weigh that in there, and I'm getting now to where I can make one of those blanks, you know, in a reasonable amount of time. I mean, it takes time to make them, you know, so you got to have to ask a little bit for them, but I think what I may do, I, I actually thought about starting an online store, but I didn't want to mess with that. I think what I may do for this first batch, because we haven't been able to kind of come to an agreement yet, um, I may do a video turning one of the first ones or the first, you know, one or two of the first ones, and then the next night drop a video like I've done in the past that showcases them all and just do a one day sale and just blow them out. Whatever's gone is gone. Whatever's left is left, and I'll make more at a later date. I'm thinking about trying that and just seeing uh, seeing how it goes. Let me know what you guys think. I'm curious to hear what you think. Uh, but that's kind of what I was thinking is set up and I'll turn one blank and then the next night sell them. And then a week later or so, I'll turn another blank and the next night sell them and just let these go. And then I'm putting this money back. I don't know if there are any more pin shows yet this year. I'm trying to find out. If you know of one, let me know. But I'm trying to get to more than just one to two pin shows a year. I want to start attending you know, I'd like to start trying next year three to four pin shows if I could. And this is going to be my ticket to get me there, uh, I hope. 
So I don't expect to get rich, <laughs> but I would like to really offset that cost because, uh, you know, shows are fun, but they do get expensive. But the cool thing about them is I get to meet everybody. I get to have fun. I get to hang out with people and do what I love to do. And that's what I want to do. So, all right, that's it for a little while. I'm going to get uh, busy on prepping for the chaos blanks. Don't know how much more video I'll shoot. I need to find out what time it is because you can see it's getting a little dark outside. Uh, I'll be back in a minute, I hope. Well, I got the lights all shut off except one, and I realized as I turned to walk out the door, I forgot to give you my one last update. I've got the table saw completely set up. This is the tallest blank that I have, and you can see the grain runs left to right. So I'm gonna split it in half to three quarter inch, and then I'll cut the other piece down to three quarter of an inch, and then I'll take it this away, and I'll run it through and knock off some little pieces that I'll glue together. So just thinking things through like that, but this is some of the larger stock that I'm gonna reduce. Uh, that took most of the stuff out of the bucket. There's a few things in there that they're just too skinny or, you know, they're uh, like some of it is from flooring. So it's got like the, uh, the tenon in it. And then I have this box and this box that need to go, but I wanted to get the big stock ripped down first. Uh, so I'm all set up and ready to go. All I got to do is plug the saw in and uh, start ripping. And that will be hopefully tomorrow night. It is right about eight o'clock, so I'm gonna head in the house. I'm gonna get this video edited up for you guys, get it posted, and uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings in the name of chaos. <laughs> Have a great evening, bye.